This is the Meta one month overview reading for the month of January 2024. It's currently November 30th, 2023, 1133 a.m. Eastern Time. Meta at the time of this reading is $323.43. That's USD. And the shuffle file for the Meta reading was created on October 25th, 2023 at 135 p.m. Eastern Time. That's this video here in the corner. So the overall theme and behavior for Meta in January is an important support level that's highlighted it looks like it's at a higher price level but there's an important uh, cash out opportunity at a peak here on like a multi-day scale it's cr it's um crossed with an important resistance where we kind of like flatten out around that resistance so there's an important support and a support an important resistance both highlighted um we probably cover a lot of ground um in january and going from like, a resistance to a support or vice versa and that would go uh, hand in hand with a lot of the other january readings um behavior around the highest side we have a decline off of the highest side down to and through support to meet a second support and then we rotate sideways along that so support for a bit looks like there's a pretty notable rally into the high and then behavior around the lowest low we have a rally out of the lowest low along a diagonal trend line uh, breaking through a horizontal resistance on a multi-day scale to meet a second resistance and then pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. So that's the general behavior of Meta throughout January. We're going to get into the day-by-day -day chart behavior in just a second. But before we do that, I want to make sure everybody's aware the whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. Imagine if everybody that made money in the stock market took some of that money and they donated it to a charity like here. The world would be a much better place. So we could do a bit of that. And we do that here by following the rule of karma for the channel, the unwritten agreement for, between the universe and anybody utilizing this information for profit. If you plan to utilize this information for profit, you must follow these rules or the universe will shut you off. 5% uh, of the profits from every profitable trade using this information should be donated forward to one of these charities. Just click here and donate. 5% of the profit should be donated back to the channel through one of these links. It leaves you with 90% of the money. Make sure to spend that money out of love. As long as you follow those rules, my friends, the universe considers you an angel investor. The channel is going to send it back to you tenfold. Uh, let's get into it. All right, so on the first, we have a peak early in the day, uh, an important peak early in the day, and a notable decline off of that peak offering opportunity. There's a day trade opportunity in there. I'll talk about it in more detail in the paid version. Um, likely gap up the third in the morning. Looks like there, that's where there's a cash out. There's a significant cash out opportunity there. I'm going to talk about it in more detail in the paid version. But we have a notable decline off of a prominent peak there. So we go from a prominent, prominent peak early in the day on the second to a trough early in the, uh, later in the day on the second to another peak, or a prominent peak early in the day on the third with a notable decline off of it. And then we probably gap up again on the fourth. There's a trade opportunity there and an, uh, a trade opportunity that'll stand out on like a. Uh, it'll stand out as a really, a really awesome suspicious opportunity amongst other opportunities within the same reading. Looks like it's mixed. So we have a peak early in, in, in the day or a crest early in the day on the fourth, and then we decline pretty notably. There's multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance on the fifth, and it looks like that's probably on the way down. Um, for a lot of a lot of the January readings, I have another high here on the eighth, and it looks like that's possibly what's going on here. Out of a decline or out of a scary drop over the week on one of those two, there's a significant move higher. It'll be like an unexpected move higher out there on the eighth, even in the face of seemingly overwhelming headwinds or some really negative technical chart behavior. But we move into a high there, and then the following day we we have a peak that we sell off from pretty prominently. A big move down at the end of the day, a day trade opportunity there on the ninth. Oh, also a trade opportunity on the on the eighth. We'll talk about all that in more detail in the paid version. So we decline pretty notably, especially. In to the end of the day where we see a trough there on the ninth um, and then out of that decline on the 10th from the bottom of a range and a trough all the way to the top of a range we rally out of that decline big move higher on the 11th early in the day to a peak uh, we bump along resistance and then on a lot of the readings here we have a bit of a drop around the 11th 12th what's interesting is that we have an inverted prince of, of wands card here so that'll be interesting to see how it plays out what it does mean is that this is a pretty important day i think it's probably going to be hard to say it's probably mixed but whatever direction ends up going it's going to inc increase with momentum moving forward in time and then on the 16th we have an important technical resistance level highlight on a multi-day scale a lot of price change there usually you do like a back like a pop and drop or a drop and pop when you see an ace of wands or a princess of wands you know it's some sort of behavior like that around surrounding the resistance level so you're able to trade it in both directions we're going to talk about that in a lot more detail in the paid version guys if you're interested in the paid version what you get in the paid version is not just everything that we're talking about now but you also get the timing of the highest highs and the lowest lows any price information price level information we're able to extrapolate you get the best trades that we see throughout the month what trades to avoid what trades are the best and what type of chart behavior to look for for entry and exit points for those trades you also get any trades that are relevant on a multi-month scale and a multi-year scale as well as the comparative performance of meta to the s p 500 over the same period of january 2024 all of that in the paid version my friends it's really great way to support the channel we definitely know the names of everybody that goes ahead and, and uh, subscribes for the monthly because those are the people that are the core foundation of support for the channel allowing us to accomplish our goals and so the way that you get the paid version you go to our services so meta posts scroll down to monthly subscription click here to order and you want to subscribe to the meta if you're interested in the uh, paid version of any of these crypto or ticker symbols that we have here listed you can get the individual subscription to any of them or you can get all of the paid version of all of them by subscribing to the 30 days access to all paid it also gives you the paid version of amazon google and nvidia which you can only get through this 30 days access to all paid most popular subscription thank you to everybody that goes ahead and does that let's take a look and see how we're doing for november all right so that's the first of november right we have a low on the second so we missed the the, the low by by uh by one day it does end up being the second does end up being the, the second lowest day of the whole month so pretty pretty solid there matter of fact i missed this little ruin here but that's an indication of a lowest low there so the reading was 100 i just missed that by a little bit but in any case very very close um if you opened up a long position there you would have been a happy camper and then we have a highest high around the 16th 17th and it looks like we missed that by a little bit right we were kind of like up in this area however still a really solid trade if you went from opening up along there on the first to closing along on the 17th you would have gone from roughly 302 left a little on the table 302 to 334 so that 32 dollars guys 32 dollars that you would have been able to gain following along on the trades from the from the paid version of the meta reading on the 10th we had another opportunity it looks like there was opportunity to open up a long position at a trough on the 10th and you can see that would have paid off pretty darn well as well and then on the 22nd that ends up being a high that we kind of we, we ended up missing so we we're a little bit off on the
the high, but the reading does have the Ace of Swords there indicating a high is high, as well as this this ruin here, this Labradorite uh, Pendulum, all indicating high is high. So this is a really solid reading. And then we get into the troughs here in the last week, and you can see how that's taking place. You would have made a ton of money if you had the paid version of this reading, that's for sure. All right, let's get back into it. We have a prominent high here on the 16th, um, as early in the day, as indicated by the Ace of Swords, and a lot of price change covered. Um, we should see like a drop and pop or a pop and drop, something like that around around the Ace of Swords resistance level. And then on the 17th, we have a notable decline that will really stand out on one month chart, probably our biggest decline for the month. I'm um, taking us into a prominent trough there, big move out of that prominent trough on the 18th, reaching for a distant resistance and taking us to a crest early in the day on the 19th that we sell off from pretty notably down two and through support to meet a second support. We do a U-shaped reversal below that support, come back and reuse it as support. But that move to the downside early in the day off of the crest on the 19th is a pretty notable move downward. Likely a trough first thing in the morning on the 22nd, and then a sideways fluctuating rally into a peak or crest towards the end of the day or towards the second half of the day on the 22nd. It does proceed a decline, so there's a lot of volatility on the 23rd and a fast sudden move higher marking the end of that decline. Um, there's a resistance level that's highlighted that we failed to break through multiple times before there. It's highlighted on the 24th and a trough at the end of the day. Peak early in the day on the 25th and another notable decline to a trough end of the day on the 25th. And then we likely gap up on the 26th and then decline through multiple support levels. A pretty significant decline there on the 26th as well. I'm advised to be cautious. I might have left out there's a prominent peak on the 22nd. No, I, I think I said that. Anyways, I'm advised to be cautious on the 29th. Some sort of tricky chart behavior that could make us do the wrong thing or like be impulsive or rally into a peak on the 30th. I'm advised not to chase that rally. We sell off from that rally pretty notably through multiple support levels. And then the volatility on the 31st has a sharp drop that stands out in that period of volatility. February sneak preview is a decline to revisit a support level I recently met once before. And that's meta for January 2024, my friends. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. It really helps out the channel. And most importantly, my friends, make sure to follow that rule of karma. You do so here on the resources tab of our website. You know what to do. You know where to go. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned if you got the paid version.